Hey everybody, Steve here. Okay, here's a trial run. Okay, this lane here will be two lanes going out for the trucks, a double lane or at least that wide. And we're going to have our six wide container stacking. And then this here will be a loading zone. And then you got your container crane track. And over here is another track. Uh, this will be the bypass lane for going north. Of course, it'll come up and come down, then come south. And then over here, we have our other footprint concrete pad for the other side of the crane for the loading and unloading. And this section right here will actually be stacking, and then this right here will be loading or unloading, whichever they need to be. Okay, but that's what we're looking at. We have nine and a half feet of asphalt in the staging area or stacking area. And we will have, oh, cheapers, I done forgot my numbers. But that's what we're going to look at on the inner motor yard, where that section will be. And I've got all this cleaned up to where I can uh, draw out the uh, north end of the lot. It's going to be tricky. So let's look at the little pond here. It rained overnight. I do have flaws in my water. First time I ever tried doing it. But I'm going to tell you. Flaws ain't nothing but detail. And a pretty little woman of mine, she made a point. You know when a train goes by, it's going to throw ripples and everything else. Because we, at the house here, we're about 300 yards from CSX line, and we still feel it. So, any ripples or anything, oh well, it's a train going by. Jeez, this thing's getting long. We're looking at 8, 8, 16, 70, 20 foot right now. And got another 3 foot to add on this lower end here. Why don't you look at this? I got my bottom color wrong. Well, that's okay. Now, if anyone knows, could I take some watercolor and paint the top of this water very lightly to just stain it up a little bit? Or am I stuck with what I got? Which is fine. Okay, and now let's go back here. I didn't have it perfectly level, so I've got this little ledge right here, and I think it's perfect for a beaver dam. I just gotta work with it a little bit. It's not really that noticeable, but you can see it. I gotta get me a tripod on wheels and stuff. To handle this. All right. If I can go back to the other end of it here. All right, we're looking at 20 foot. These long shadows model trees, fantastic. And then we got my little ones. I'm using my little ones for just you know border trees and stuff like that. Bob's got. I've got a crap load of Bob's trees and. We're going to use them for everything all over the place. Let me go back down here and show you his big pines. They are 100 foot tall and they are beautiful. The detail is just unreal. And I like where I put them right here. Okay, as the sun comes up, you can see what she looks like. All right, y'all have a good one. Thank you.